Alright guys, I wanted to bring to y'all's attention something that I think every hunter needs. And this is it right here. A boot dryer. I haven't had one ever since I started hunting, but my friends told me that it was a must-have. And I didn't really understand why until my boots got just damp on the inside. They weren't wet. It was just from using them every day, all day long. They just build up moisture inside of the foot area. And I hunted for about five days straight. And on the, it was about 25 or 30 degrees. The first two or three days, my feet were nice and warm, no cold issues or anything. On the end of the third day, my feet started getting cold. And the fourth day and the fifth day, it was almost unbearable. And I didn't know why. They pointed out is because there was moisture building up on the inside of my boot. I'm going to unbox this thing and show you how it worked. There was so much moisture built up in my boots that they stunk so bad on the inside. I could smell them when I was walking on the end of the days. But... I washed them out uh, with soapy water with the water hose and everything. The sides of these are coming off right here, but usually it's really because I just fold them down to slide them on and off real easy. And on the Muck Boot website, it said that it's okay to do that. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's fine. But as you can see, there's water in the bottom of these right now for me washing them out. So I'm going to unbox this and I'll get them set up on there and show you how it works. We'll just leave them on there overnight is what people usually say to do. Uh, I had some people tell me that they wanted to know my setups and what I use and everything so this is going to be one of those videos. So this is how it came out of the box with this uh, easy little manual right here and just a few pieces. So it's pretty easy to set it up. Looks like it goes together like this and this slides over the top of there. So I got this part put together and it says uh, in the instructions right here that you want to have six inches from the bottom of the boot. So I'm going to need these extensions on here since my boots are pretty long. So I'll set those up like that. It's, um, I read over this and it just basically said it, it doesn't get hot, it just gets warm. And right here it says why doesn't the peat dryer get hot or make noise. It says not designed to get hot, it just uses warm air, but it doesn't get hot. It doesn't, you can leave them on there as long as you want to. It doesn't hurt it. You can use them daily. It works on all types of footwear. So this is a good thing to have. I'm almost positive there's water going to pour out of here when I dump this over, but we'll see. Maybe it won't. Yeah, there it comes. Anyway, I'm going to put it to the maximum test on this. It says you want to have them at a slight angle. Wow, there's a lot of water that just came out the bottom of there. But anyway, we're going to turn these on. I'm going to leave it on there overnight, and we'll see how it turns out in the morning if they're completely dry. Check back with you in the morning. I'm going to plug it in now. All right, guys, so here's the boots that I put on here last night. They've been on here for about seven hours. So I'm going to stick my hand down in here and see if they're dry. And they are. You remember when I stuck them on there, there's no water on my hands whatsoever. It's not even damp in there. So, let me try the other one. It's not damp at all either. I don't know if you can, you can see down there, it's totally dry. But I say for $35, your feet being warm <laughs> and not wet is totally worth it. Especially after you already spent 150 on some boots, uh, it'll keep it to where they can do their job for you, keeping your feet dry. So I'd say it's totally worth it. This is the original peat dryer. You can also get different models that have uh, glove dryers and like multiple stands for different pairs of boots and stuff. But I only have one pair of boots and one pair of gloves, so this will work fine for me. Anyway, uh, just a product review for you that like to know what I use. Totally worth it. 35 bucks.